Welcome everyone, and we have something a little bit different, and we've got some time to introduce these players, so what do we have here? This is a pro team game on Michi, alright? <laughs> this map is awful. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Who voted this into the rotation? Okay, you out there, what are you doing? Also, pros on it. This is going to be cool. So let's introduce the players. All right, we have Madri. Madri, 2K4-ish player. A really top-tier player. All right. Sito. Sito, I think. Qualified for Red Bull Wololo Legacy. It's like a top 20 player. All right. Really good players. And then they're matched up with two random uh, people, I believe. And that is Nolo playing as the Converse, about a 2K, and another player about 2K, Samaro, playing as the Franks. And Madri is playing as the Britons. And Sato playing as the Celts. And on the other side, this is not a team of nobodies, all right? Over here, Darvoy. Darvoy playing in the orange as the Lithuanians, I believe, again, about a 2K player. Didn't memorize the ELO, but I saw everybody who, whose name you don't know is right around 2K. Over here, King Boo playing in the purple as the Saracens. And I think we got random sips based on some of the chatter we had over here earlier. And then Banjita playing in the yellow as Bulgarians. And last but not least, State. And this is Team UK, by the way. All of these players over here on the right side of the map are from the UK. Playing up against Sato, Madri, Samero, and Nolo. And you know what? gonna take this at at two times speed all right well no we're gonna take this at at four times speed because nothing happens on this map yes. you can see the team ville production etc very much the same the apms we're not one the APMs. we want this this step right here you can see 20 villagers across 20 villagers across a couple people heading up now at 21 i'm, I'm a little uh, four, five. Why are they heading up so early? I would expect um FC three key to be booming. Uh, I mean, obviously that's what we're going to get. I'm just not sure how they're uh, going to be able to do that. Madri's up, adding market blacksmith. Let's see the times on this. Wow, these castle times are fast. All right, well then. I don't know how to play. How do they manage that? All right, let's see. Madri, he's up. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, we got Castlade first. No, no. All right, and Madri with just an incredible Castlade, and Nolo as well. My goodness. Um. Yeah, headed forward. And farming around the house? Because why not? When you're the Khmer, you farm around houses. And a castle drop. I'm a little... Oh, Ballista Elephants. Oh, this is cool. Nolo is going Ballista Elephants. Very cool. Did not think of that. Nice. And you can see three pound centers down for Madri. Sito... Just on one at the moment because Sato's working with Nolo. Um, we'll slow this down. Four town centers already out for Sumero. Over for Stakes Team, three for Darvoy. Four for King Boo. Three for Benjita. And three for Stake. But the outposts are up. So this is going to be spotted. Let's see what kind of reaction we get as... A long sword rush seems to be the play from Sito, and they're through. 
And yeah, <laughs> you can't wall the elephants out, my dudes. Walling the elephants out is not a thing. All right, these elephant boys, they will get through. So we're gonna slow this down now to normal speed. Oh, wow, that feels slow. As the long swords, the Britain long swords stream through. I'm not sure the play with all these long swords is just gonna be to try to take out um, town centers. I would not be surprised to see that as purple. Now, King Boo scrambling down the buildings. It's hard to keep track of who's what color. Now I see why people call out colors. And what Madri with one, two, three, four, five, six, six town centers. I'm not sure why the long swords from our Britain player. Like, oh, they're Celts, Celts. Oh, Madri's Britons. Makes sense. Celt long swords and siege workshop in play here. And this feels so slow. Let's go to at least two times for now. Because this game is something else. As everybody's just booming up. We got some stables in play now for Darvoy. And this castle here, well placed. I love the Khmer castle. Now a Khmer player into three town centers. And you can see the eco is actually a lot better for Stakes team for now for the team UK versus Sato's team. Um, even with this rating, but the, the situation's a bit of a mess. A ram coming out. I like that ram addition. There's nothing out here yet. You've seen nothing that's going to kill your, your ram. And the ram is faster. And more long swords stream back as Benjita tries to wall up. Unable to do so. This town center going to go down for long here. You got to kill that repair bill. Yep, the bills hop out, spatter down the ram, but to no avail, hop back in. This is wild. This is not what I expected, honestly. Um, wow. As we got Sato with a 21 to 14 KD, just wrecking stuff as this ram heads out somewhere else. And look, you can't wall these guys out. They've got ballista elements. These walls, they don't actually work. Okay, but here come some knights. These knights are going to be a problem for Darvoy. Darvoy sending the knights over to clean up this forward from Nolo and Sato. Who understandably, Sato only at 46 villagers. But Fenjita also down to 54. And you can see the numbers difference that you have. Um. Sito, actually, for, for no low and Sito, far lower on the villager count than for anybody on the other team, except for Benjita, who's taking the brunt of the attack. But over here, we have Madri on the way to Imp with 130 villagers. These boys know how to build. And we got some Viking longswords here, too. Now, this does confuse me. These are from Stake. No, Viking longswords don't confuse me. Come on, man. Think your head stake over here to help protect this situation and monks in play walled in that's nicely done what are you gonna do about the monks when the monks are walled in and sito holds on to this forward position sito and nolo in the enemy base castles being dropped now for king boo uh a second castle and mamelukes coming out and i love to see that we're gonna see some cool stuff on this game going to see Mamelukes. Are Lithuanian players going for Knights for now? And I would love to see that be Lightus. Although maybe not in these kind of tanky battles that you're going to get. Uh, these narrow choke pointy battles. Oh, alright. The wall's finished up for Fangita. Slipping out here with the Waller villagers. But it's it's it doesn't matter. We got a Ballista Elephant over here anyway. And we got a bunch of stuff already in. And, oh, this castle! Uh, it's probably going to go up, but at what cost for King Boo? And King Boo says, nah, I don't know if it is. King Boo decides to run back in. They've got to come over and help King Boo out. As Madri is in the Imperial Age, the lone person in the Imperial Age, nobody else even on the way. Well, no, I take that back. King Boo on the way up to the Imperial Age as well with two castles, making... And this this has led to Sato's team finally 
really being about even, even in the ego, but far ahead in the positioning with this forward position already built out in the enemy's base, applying pressure. We're getting ballista elephants consistently coming out. Well, those ballista elephants aren't going to be much good here in a bit as this is a big army from Garvoy, and the armies are uh, still in favor of Sato, but an awful lot of long swords in that mix, and those long swords, their value is fading fast. As Sato finally decides to add in another town center. So now Sato's team is going to have to lean on Madri and Samaro, who are Flying in Samara with the Cavalier of the Franks. With Paladin on the way, maybe, 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 maybe. Paladin on the way. Sorry, I'm not used to the team game. Uh, what it looks like quite yet. Headed in and what what to do as the opponent. Man, these, these Mamluks are chasing down the Longswords, but the Paladin's running away. And wow, the Briton Onager Rush clearing this out into a massive channel it's big it, it's very helpful if Sato's team keeps this focus on this point, part of the map because they've already got one two three four castles on their side of the walls as well as oh wow cute build a market at the flared location did not know that was a, a taunt but these guys know these things uh a lot of market events. I don't know how to adjust that. I did see a what are you doing in there? Um, we got these Cavalier continuing to raid, and Stakes team still has the eco lead. The militaries are pretty similar in size. Uh, but as far as Imperial Ages, we have only one player on this team and two players, and about to be a third. Now, there will be three very soon, also. Each team, so it actually looks fairly similar as um, the only player not in Imperial Age for Stake's team is Stake, with who has 175 eco units. What? So our Viking player is just not going to make military. Stake is going to go 200 pop eco. Wow. Stake's going to go 200 pop eco and, and slink. That's what we're going to see, I think. No other reason you'd have 167 villagers and be making trade cards so heavily. 11 already and a lot more in queue. Yeah. Now, the Mamluks are going to be a problem. Yep. Sent 1,000 food. The Paladins arrived, though, and that's not enough Mamluks to hold back the Paladins. And where are the Ballista Elephants and Onagers and Monks and Longbows. Oh, what a glorious looking army. Wow. That's a beautiful army. My goodness, man. You don't get to see armies that look like this very often. Longbows and onagers and paladins and mamelukes and ballista elephants. Oh, it's so cool. But here comes a swooping cavalier from our Lithuanian Darvoy on stakes team trying to really close this back off and gain an advantage, but the Paladins of Somero are there. Big fights. The Onager's going down, and the Longbow's going down as well. The Longbow's can't hold up to the Onager's and the Mamluks. These Ballista Elephants are going to be very useless, and this castle is looking at great risk of being denied, but there's army streaming on, and more Longbow's being made and created. Now, it's just so much cleaner for Madri and Sato's team at the moment. This has to get denied, right? There's an Onager all the way back here. This Onager needs to move forward a bit. And I guess it does not get denied. This castle looks like it's going to go up. And this Onager being sniped off by the elite Longbowmen with their 7 plus 4 range. I love it. Now the Longbowmen are really coming into play. 32 on the field, 16 in queue, plenty more on the way. Darvoy bleeding villagers and only having Cavalier Paladin upgrade on the way but forced to take these fights. 16 Paladins, 15 pal 15 Cavalier, but on the other side 32 Paladins for Somero and Somero is just really bringing 
such a, a force to the field that I don't think that Darvoy is able to keep up with the Lithuanian player, not able to keep up with the Frank player. And finally, Sato himself as the Celts has entered the Imperial Age, and I expect to see an awful lot of onagers and siege onagers from our Celt player and Rams. Now, Trebs, yes, I was going to say Trebs are the next step. There's a castle here, castle here, castle here, castle here. Lots of castles protecting as Stake continues to boom. 160 villagers, 33 trade carts, no military for Stake, 193. Up to stake, you can see sending resources, players sending resources back and forth, but especially stake. These trebs, they Britain trebs, probably with Warwolf. I don't know yet. Ah, uh, that looks like a pretty massive explosion. And the onagers, they can't, you can't deal, onagers can't deal with elite longbowmen and elite ballista elephants on the field. They, I think they have the double cross. Oh, yeah, they have the double crossbows, and yeah, the. Mamluks will wreck them, but the Mamluks will die under this constant rain of arrows. There's nothing... Oh, this makes me so happy. There's nothing better in Age of Empires than the rain of arrows. These high arcing arrow shots from the longbowmen. And the destruction that is blasted upon the opponents from high in the sky with these crazy, crazy units. What an awesome, awesome game. Pros playing Michi. What are we witnessing? Elite Ballista Elephant, Elite Longbowman, Paladin, Onager, soon to be Siege Onager on the field. We have Burr Celtica on the way. Paladin and Siege Onager though for the other side. And this is gonna be crazy. There's not a good meat shield. These Paladins are streaming in and raiding for so Mero and Sato really doesn't have much on the field as of yet. So it really is a 3v3 in the military counts, but Stake is providing a lot of resources to Fangita so that Fangita can produce the Siege Onagers. Fangita as the Bulgarians making Siege Onagers. The raids are in and oh, ejecting the relics. That's a wise play. So Mero saying, hey, your paladins, your paladins are going to have to come back and deal with me as I eject your relics. And these longbowmen, look at the snipers. These arrows. And who needs siege? I guess ballista elephants are technically siege, but not anti-building siege. Now, this many ballista elephants is just a problem, all right? They're scared of the siege onagers, but that's, look at this. Oh, they're holding up surprisingly well. And the longbows just snipe off the siege onagers. A, the Kelt Keep Rush is in play. There's a siege ram involved. You need to get your you need to get your paladin player Samero to snipe off those siege. Not happening. So uh, these guard towers, but the Kelt Keeps are are gonna be pretty spicy. They have can't remember, but I think. Not the Kelp Keeps, sorry, the Britain Keeps have, I think, a special tech on their Keeps, giving them something. Six, it's gotta be range, right? Or attack. Eight plus six is a lot. And the GG's called. Sito's teams win. And guys, we just witnessed professional players. Professional players. Sito, Madri, and a lot of Really top tier players, players who are yeah, professionals compared to most of us. Samero, Nolo, Stake, King Boo, Fangita, and Darvoy. Fangita, King Boo, these are names we know. All right. Playing on Michi. Let's check the statistics. This one was a little bit wild. And there's just a lot of statistics going on here. But what you want to see is the Khmer and the Britain. KD ratio is tremendous. Wow. Steak with a lot of steak collected. Uh, mostly food. Yeah, so steak collecting a lot of resources and sending out 36,000 in tribute. The Vikings not feeling like they can contribute a whole lot there. Although I would have loved to see a hundred um, berserkers 
just come charging in in the middle of one of those fights. And APM stats. You can see nobody's too fast on Midji, right? <laughs> what are you going to do? You can't do a whole lot. You're just doing eco stuff, all right? So we had some really high spikes, but nobody was fast on Midji. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this absolutely wild game that we got to witness uh, here on Midji with professional players playing Midji team games. Who would have thought? Very cool. All right. We'll see you in the next video. And also, if you want me to cast one of your games, drop your name, your account name in the comments. And I might. I'm not promising anything, but I might. Uh, I hope to do that sometime soon. So drop your name in the comments. All right. We'll see you in the next one.